Looking back at it, how, how did you feel like everything went? Yeah, I thought we had a pretty good day. Obviously, he was able to put up a good amount of points. Um, and I thought we executed pretty well. Obviously, there's a couple plays you wish you could have back, but that's every game. So I um, thought we did a good job. It was some, something to build on. And then obviously, look back on the little mistakes that were made and correct those and then move forward with this Cal game this week. Peyton, uh, considering your family background and everybody the coach, uh, do you, is it easier for you maybe when the head coach kind of gets upset like Coach Freeze did Saturday yeah. to, to take that? Yeah, it's definitely uh, – it's nice for me having last year under my belt with Coach Freeze, and obviously we have a better relationship this year and have spent more time together. So um, that makes things easier too. Um, and so I, I'm just trying to listen to what coach is saying. You don't, you try not to read into the tone or anything that the coach is talking to you with. And you just listen to what he's saying. And then I, I respond with um, what I'm seeing. And we try to get on the same page and, and move forward. And um, But yeah, you know, having uh, being around coaches, I guess, my whole life is is a benefit uh, to that. But, um, but yeah, I'd say it's more so just being around Coach Freeze longer. How was communication? First game of the hell, but all those things, how did that work for you? It was good. You know, I heard Coach um, playing clear. You know, I thought our equipment guys did a really good job of having it all set up and, um, you know, getting reps, I guess, with that through camp and uh, being comfortable with that. So I thought it was pretty good. That was a combination of how much you're doing at the line of scrimmage. Does, it, does this game feel like it's, it's a lot more in your hands now that you've been through one of them? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, obviously, you know, with, with the helmet communication, uh, if it's above 15 seconds, if coach sees something on the sideline, you know, he can let me know without having to do a whistle or something like that, like some coaches do. So I think, I think that happened once uh, during the game. And then, um, and then, yeah, I'm able to, you know, handle stuff more at the line of scrimmage as well, being um, comfortable with this offense and, and coach being able to, to trust me uh, to do those things. So, um, so yeah, I'd say so. How different? Is this offense than what you were doing at this time of year? Uh, quite a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very much different. What's the biggest <laughs> way this year? Um, probably detail and like knowing what we're doing um, and having confidence in what we're doing. I'd say that's the biggest. That's probably the biggest um, difference. A lot more is on you, isn't it, in, in, in this offense? I mean, you have to make more decisions on the field. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I, I'd say the coach has given me uh, more opportunity to uh, help the guys out up front and just be on the same page. And so also help myself out, you know, get myself protected um, and then uh, redirect certain things and allow us to get in the best play possible for that play. Now, am I going to be 100% on that every game? No. But, um, you know, if we're on the same page, if we're all wrong, you know, in a way we're right because we're on the same page. It's it's uh, something that I've learned in the past. They used to call it law, loud and wrong. If you're loud and wrong and everybody's on the same page, you, you have a chance. But if five guys doing this and five guys doing that and one guy's doing his own thing, it's not going to work. So, um, so yeah, I'd say uh, I feel good right now with, with what we're doing. Have you ever been yelled at that much after a touchdown pass? Um, I don't even remember what, what, which one it was. So why open the Keandre? Yeah. The second one. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, probably not. He went <laughs> Mississippi right ass on you. Yeah, yeah, he wanted me to protect myself on that one. But, uh, but I'll, I'll make sure that that, that uh, doesn't happen again. What did you see out of the, the young wide receivers in their first game under the lights and kind of how they responded? Yeah, I thought they did a good job. Obviously, Cam uh, getting the end zone early uh, was great. Uh, Keandre's not a young receiver, but obviously got in the end zone a couple times. So that was, that was good to see and fun to connect with them. Uh, but then the other freshmen, I thought they did a good job. You know, there's little things that, um, little detail things that they're just going to keep getting better at that, that we have to get on the same page about. But I thought they did a good job uh, under the lights, like you said, in front of our fans for the first time, handling all that. You know, it's not always easy when you're playing high school football just a year ago. So uh, I thought they did a good job with all that stuff. And then obviously it was cool to see them get in the end zone as well. I asked your, I asked your teammate, Sam, and roommate, if he had a celebration plan against his old team. He said he might. Have a pen, sign the ball, and give it to Justin Wilcox as a celebration. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, do I think he'll actually do that? No. But, uh, I do think he'll be. He's going to be awfully excited. Has he given you any tips on on their defense? Uh, not much. You know, I didn't want to ask him and like sit there and like try to cheat on the test. If you uh, want to think of it like that, 
I just don't think that there's, you know, a ton. If you get too caught up in like, hey, you know, it, it is kind of like a test. You try to cheat on a test, and also you don't do all that good. Like just study for the test, you know. So um, I'm just going through my normal process, and if he has little, you know, tidbits of information. Uh, that he has, and I'm, I'm sure I'll get them from him and I'll hear it this week, but uh, I'm just going through my normal process and breaking them down uh, myself and obviously with our coaches as well and uh, going about it that way. After you score 73 in a game, what's the focus heading into week two? You asked for all those, like just cleaning up things. Is that kind of the focus now, this next step progression of an offense? Yeah, for sure. You know, as week to, week to week goes on, you always want to keep getting better. You want to peak in, you know, November, December, ideally. You know, so. Uh, for us, you know, you get week one out of the way, you see it as almost like a you know preseason game in the NFL ish. And then, um, you know, this week, obviously, put it back behind us. Nothing we can do about it now. Um, doesn't really mean anything to us now. And uh, it's on to Cal and folks on this game plan that's ahead of us and um, executing that. It's all about execution. And so, um, if we do those things, we're going to be in good shape. Going back to the young guys, what does it mean for you? You know, you've said these are guys are going to play in college, obviously, a long time and catch a lot of touchdown passes. Probably go to the league and catch a lot of touchdown passes. But I mean, at the end of the day, you get to be the first guy to throw a touchdown pass to them in college. Just kind of, what does that mean? To kind of, nobody's ever going to take that away from you. That's never going to change. Yeah, you know, it's it's cool, and I have an opportunity to I see it as a, a duty for me to uh, educate these guys on on certain things. And I feel like I've had a really good relationship in the past with my receivers in high school and college. And um, just helping them understand what the quarterback's looking for and what you know I'm seeing and, and trying to also talk to them about, hey, I know this is what you're seeing because I've learned that from these other guys that I play with. Or tell me what you're seeing because you might see it differently. You know, and just get on the same page. And so um, just trying to get them in uh, the best they can be now. And obviously, I won't be playing with them next year. But uh, I hope that I can leave an impact on them and um, better their career. And, Hopefully one day they can look back and say thanks for, for helping me out a little bit. You know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. You probably remember your first game as a freshman. How valuable is that experience for these young guys now that they have one on their belts? Uh, it is valuable, you know, um, getting out there. And there's that little bit of uncertainty. No matter how confident you are, you still have never played on that stage. No matter how what All-American game you played in or, uh, you know, X, Y, and Z, you never played in Jordan Air State. You know, you may come to games and, and uh, are on the sidelines and whatnot, but you've never been on the 50 uh, with all those people screaming. So it is valuable, and it's good that uh, they step into the next week. And, you know, by the time the middle season gets here, end of the season, it should feel normal for those guys. So uh, I think it is valuable. Do you have to tell them, hey, it's not going to be like this all the time? Uh, uh, I don't think I have to tell them that. I think, I think they know that. You know, uh, I can't remember the last time a team averaged 73 points a game, so uh, I have to imagine that they uh, they know that uh, things are um, going to be more difficult, uh, especially in this league and the teams that we play. And this week, uh, Cal's got a good defense, good team, and so um, you know we'll put a good week of practice together, and then, uh, like I said before, do our best to go out there next week and enjoy ourselves out there on Saturday. You look said. forward to giving uh, Cam the opportunity on a 50-50 ball to count up everybody. Yeah, for sure. You know, we've been doing it in practice uh, during the spring, during the summer. So, uh, you know, now I guess all that's left is doing the game. So uh, I have full, complete trust in him. And so when that time comes, I, I won't be afraid to do it. What do you think back to, to last year's Cal game? What, what comes to mind for you? Um, not many good things, honestly. Uh, it was a long ways away. Uh, it was a unique trip for us. We stayed two nights there, actually, which I had never done in college uh, for a regular season game. So um, that was interesting, something you can look back on, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, I don't take much from last year. Obviously, we won the game, which was the goal. Right? Every goal is to win. So we, we battled and found a way to win. Or win. And then, um, you know, fourth quarter, we, we came through when it mattered. You can take that with you. But other than that, you know, it was a pretty boring game offensively. And, uh, <laughs> I told somebody this morning I felt bad for the people that were watching that game. It was probably a snoozer, but uh, we won, so that's all that matters. Does it, does it become a, hey, when you go prove ourselves, or is that kind of the mindset no matter who you play? Yeah, you know, you're, you're always trying to prove yourself right, every week, you know, um, as a player and then also as a team. And so, um, you know, I learned early in my career from one of my pre previous coaches that uh, football is a game of what have you done for me lately. You know, it's every week. And so uh, you only get one chance a week. And so you better go ahead and uh, put everything you have into it so you don't have any regret, you know, after that game and after that season. So um, it's our job this week to focus in on Cal, not worried about last week, not worried about the next next week. 
and uh, you know, go get the job done on Saturday. Did you even break a sweat on the first three possessions? Six plays, three touchdowns. Uh, well, it was about 180 degrees, so uh, a little sweat other than that. But I think, I don't know, we had, I think we had six plays and three touchdowns, somebody said. So yeah. uh, that might be a first, too. So that was cool. But, um, but yeah, you know, I guess it was a good start. Hey, D, D, are you a social media guy? Do you read X or any of those things? No, I hate social media. I'm one of those people that, you know, is the classic, oh, I hate social media. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, I don't have Twitter or X. Uh, I haven't had that for a couple of years now, which has been great. Um, I deleted it partially because of football, but also just like the world. Like I don't, I don't see anything positive on Twitter or X or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, and so, uh, don't have that. Don't have TikTok. I never got TikTok. So if I got TikTok, I'd probably sit on it for three hours like everybody does. So uh, I don't like the whole idea of these algorithms putting everything that you are. No, your brain is wanting to see it puts it right in front of your face and you just keep scrolling like I don't I don't think that's good so um, don't have that don't read anything and so I think that's a good thing for everybody and especially a, a college athlete.